Okay, we'll work on writing expressions today. As a reminder, writing expressions means that there is no equal sign. It's just an expression. It's not an equation. Equation has the word equal in it. Expression does not. So the tricky part here is how to translate things. This is the hardest one I can give you. Four less than the quantity six times a number n. The key word here is less, and we'll come back and talk about that more. And then we have another piece, quantity six times a number n. So we write that as six times n, and then we say four less than that. So four less than that would be minus four. And that's how we write an expression. Now, this is tricky. The key thing is just to practice. So once you finish this, make sure you practice a lot. Shouldn't have too many problems with it. Look for the following words. They're kind of giveaways, and you should keep your notes when you're doing the problems. Addition. This is all adding. Sum plus total more than increased by. So the sum of 2 and a number x is 2 plus x. Subtraction. This is subtracting a minus difference less than and this is the one to watch out for put the minus second minus of course and decrease by so the less than we just did was up here and that's why we put it second the difference of a number n and 6, well, difference, decrease by, minus, you just write it as you see it, n minus 6. 7 less than a number c, this is the one I just talked about, so that would be c minus 7. And since it's tricky, I always make sure I test on it just to mess with people. Hey, I'm evil, I'm a math teacher. Multiplication times, we can write that as a dot. We no longer write it as an x because we get confused with the variable. Times product multiplied and of. Very handy. With percentages. You will see that a lot. So one third of a number x is one third x. You can also write it as one third times x. You could also write it as x over 3, but we'll get to more of that later. 12 times the number y. 12 times y, or once you get into algebra, you write it properly as 12y. Now the hard part is writing an expression where it's more than just one piece. It's lots of pieces put together. So we've got a piece of ribbon, l feet long. That's an l. I'll write it as a script L. It's cut from a ribbon eight feet long. Write an expression for the length of the remaining piece. Well, it was L feet long. Pardon me, it was eight feet long. And we cut out a piece L feet long. And whatever's left over will be eight minus L. That's an expression. If we wanted an equation, which we'll get to shortly, and we said, let's call remaining piece P would be P equals 8 minus L. But we'll get to that soon enough. Got to crawl before we walk first. You work with five other people at an ice cream stand. All the workers put their tips into a jar and share the amount in the jar equally at the end of the day. Write an expression for each person ships in dollars of the tips. Well, if we call the tips T, and I like writing a lowercase t, and we have five people, and the total is t divided by five. And that's it. Go to the problem set to give that a try. Good luck.